son of a bitch there was a woman and somebody lived across the way from her they lived in an apartment complex and they lived and the guy lived across the way well this guy was addicted to porn he had a big addiction with porn he had man titties he was he was fat he was fat but he was corpulent 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 he had man titties, he had a belly, he wasn't in shape, he was corpulent. Well, this guy was addicted to porn. He loved porn. Porn, porn, porn. And he liked violent porn. And the police went in his house, and it was pretty disturbing, motherfucker, bro. He liked violent porn. He was calling porn agencies over the phone. And, 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 and talking and talking to talking to talking to the women having phone sex with them it was pretty bad so was, the police had got got hold of his records and saw he was who he, who he was on the phone with the police went out and uh, 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 looked through all his stuff and they just found all this porn and shit Porn, porn, porn. So, my fur brother, the police started questioning this guy. Well, what happened, my fur brother? A woman went missing. She went missing. They didn't know where she was. Well, anyways, they got a question in this guy. Well, anyways, this guy who lived across the way from this woman, he's the one who killed her. So, basically, he told the police that he didn't really like her. And how the police could really figure shit out, my fur brother, this guy was always in interviews about this woman. So every time a local TV channel channel would have an interview, this same guy was giving interviews about the woman, about the woman, motherfucker, bro. So he was trying to cover up what he was doing by hiding and blank, plain sight, being a, a quote unquote witness on who she was as a person. So he told the police that he personally didn't really like her. He didn't like her. Why? Because their relationship was only a, hey, how you doing relationship? And the woman handled him right. Motherfucker, she ain't have nothing to say to him. She saw that something was weird with him. Something with him was weird. And 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 she really didn't want to talk to him. She handled it right, but she didn't handle it right. But she handled it right, if you can understand it. But she didn't handle it right. This guy was weird. This guy was weird and couldn't find out he had all that porn and shit in his house and he was calling those freak sex lines, talking on those fucking sex lines, owing thousands and thousands of dollars. So motherfucker, but he used to see his neighbor, this woman that he killed. He used to see her and he used to try to speak to her. Hey, how you doing? And she really didn't want to talk. She didn't really want to talk like that. So motherfucker, but, um, she felt something weird about him, and he was weird. He was calling those porn sites on a, and he was on porn, had porn videos, all of his shit. And he got so behind with his rent, he was he could have been evicted at any time. He needed some money, so so he he had credit card debt because that porn shit that he was calling him buying porn, he was in debt. So there was another guy that lived in that complex, a black guy. My fuck, but a black guy, this guy, this, 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 this corpulent j fellow I'm telling you about, this corpulent asshole I'm telling you about, this motherfucker, he's, um, he was quote unquote Latinx. This shit happened in like 2004, 2002, something like that. Motherfucker, bro, so, uh, they call him Latinx person. He's like, 30 years old, 29 years old, 32 years old, somewhere around there. And the black guy, he's like 19 years old. He lives in a complex. So basically, my friend, bro, the night, the 30-year-old, 30, the 30 30-something-year-old 30 guy, whatever, he's unemployed. He has no job. And he's hanging out with this Negro, with this Negro. Well, basically, come to find out, come to find out, my friend, bro, he got to telling the Negro, the quote-unquote Latinx, he was like, I need to come up on some money. And I think if I do come up on some money, 
that woman that's, that doesn't speak, that doesn't really talk like that, that's who I'm around. So then that Negro was just with him, dude, a Negro. So, motherfucker, bro, next thing you know, motherfucker, bro, that woman was, was on the way home from the gym, and she was about to go wash her clothes. Well, the Negro and the quote-unquote Latinx guy basically kidnapped her. Yeah, they kidnapped her. The, the, the quote-unquote Latinx guy kidnapped her, and that Negro was there with him. Said, okay, I'll do it with you. So, motherfucker, but the guy lived across the apartment way from her. So, motherfucker, she's opening the door to her apartment door. Next thing you know, the Negro and the quote-unquote Latinx come out. They grab, the, the quote-unquote Latinx grab her from behind, put his, uh, shove her in, in her apartment, get, get her purse, and then they pull her back in his apartment because he lived across the way. So, motherfucker, but now they tie her up and she's tied up. So then next thing you know, he gets her debit card. And he asks her, he asks her, uh, motherfucker, but what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your pen number? So she gives him the pen. So then he tells the Negro, stay here at my apartment and watch her while she's tied up. I'm about to go and utilize this pen and get some money out of this account. Get some money out of this account. So, my brother, that's that's what happens. So, my brother, the Negro is watching the woman. Next thing you know, the Negro has to go use the bathroom. So, so the time when a Negro has to go use the bathroom and a woman is tied up. Remember, she just got back home from the gym. She had a gym membership at Bally's. Remember Bally's? You remember that? I know you remember that. I know you remember Bally's. The gym membership. Well, anyways, she had her gym card with her name on it. She put her gym card under a box in a room that she was tied up in. And the Negro was supposed to be watching her, but he went to go use the bathroom. So she knew she was going to die or she put that shit under there because she sensed that she was going to die. She probably knew it. She probably knew it. She probably knew it. Sad story. So she's tied up in her gym clothes and she's waiting to be killed, essentially. So, motherfucker, bruh, next thing you know, motherfucker, bruh, uh, the guy gets back. The guy gets back and he gets back and guess what? He rapes her. He rapes her and then he gets uh, heat rocks, fake rocks fake rocks that you use for a lizard or a reptilian, a cold-blooded animal to heat them up. So he got rocks from his tank to where his reptile was. And that's how he killed her with the cord to the rocks. And then, so what happened next, my fucker, bruh, oh, I forgot a part. So then the, the quote unquote Latinx, he went out to get the money. So then he went out and he got a third guy, a third guy, a third guy. So another guy showed up and this was a, was a fair skin guy. He shows up and, and, and he just wants a, a cut from the money. So now there's three of them. So now the quote unquote Latinx, he rapes the, the woman. Then the third guy takes off his shoelaces, ties up her feet. Then he takes off uh, his belt, tie her up, motherfucker, bruh. Next thing you know, motherfucker, bruh, she's, she's dead now. She's dead and her body is tied up. And then they put a sheet over her body and put her in the, this creepy shit, put her in the back of her car. Then they went and threw her in a lake, threw her in a lake. They found a body and everything. But my fucker, bro, they wasn't going to figure out how this killer was going to be found. They didn't. The only reason why they figured it out. How did they figure it out again? They figured out because they found her car. And then when they found her car, they, they found the forensic files. They found dog hair in her car. And then they found the reptile rocks that heat up that reptile. They found that around her neck. So my fucker, but next thing you know. They went to go question some people in her apartment complex. They knock on the door. They hear a dog bark. And they say, whoa, a dog bark. Next thing you know, they look at the window of the apartment and the dog was in the apartment. 
and it had the same color hair as the hair that was found in the car. So, motherfucker, but anyways, police get a search warrant and they found a reptile tank and they found rocks. Uh, I mean, they found embedded, embedded imprints of the rocks that was in the tank and they found the dog. So they basically knew they found the killer. Where they started searching his apartment and they found butt marks to where the woman was bleeding. She was sitting on her buttocks on the floor when she was tied up and they found an imprint of her butt in a couple places so she was moving around and they also found that Bally's card that she put there so she knew that she was going to die and she put her card there just so they could know that she was in that apartment and bro let me tell you bro if they didn't find that dog there and then they was not able to go in that apartment bro they would have never found that killer yeah and then all three of those dudes would have got away so anyways, the Negro that was accomplice and was watching the woman when the other dude went out to get the other dude and get the money from the bank account, he was being interviewed on Forensic File. Yeah. And that shit told me something. Dude, 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 I'm too old to be meeting people. No new friends. No new friends. No new friends. I'm too old to be going out and meeting people, bro. Motherfucker, you meet somebody, somebody can make a left a, a left turn here, a right turn, a, a left turn here, a right turn there. Next thing you know, you in some shit. You in some shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Watching this Forensic Files. I still get upset because of what people do to me, their actions that they do to me. But watching Forensic Files, it gives me a little better grip. And... I don't want to be with a woman. I don't want to be with a woman that doesn't listen to me. I don't want to be with a woman that makes me think about voiding the Eighth Amendment because she doesn't listen. Yeah, and I can make articulate sounds to validate what I'm doing. And there's weak politicians that want me to be with a woman because everything that I'm coming with will condemn them. Yeah, I'm a kite. Oh, I know you're a kike. This shit will condemn you because I'm speaking about Bolshevikism. And I'm proving that, that Hitler was a little better than Lenin. And they really had no difference in ideology. No difference. Hitler went after the kike and, and Lenin went after the kulak. Hitler made it about race. He was in a dominant nation of white people. He actually had means to make the Aryan certificate. Well, Stalin, he was from Georgia. He was from Georgia. Trotsky, he was from Ukraine. The only one that was actually Russian out of the three was Lenin. Was Lenin. Yeah. Watching Forensic Files makes me come to my senses. And it tells me I really don't want a woman. Because a woman would think that she knows better than me. And that's what we, that's what be happening in these shows, bro. Women would do something stupid, or the dude would think, or the woman would act like she knows better than the dude, and the dude just goes berserk. Do 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 do. Why do you not listen to sound reason? And I'm giving you scripture to personify it, and also with the scripture, I'm giving you ancient things dude dude i'm done with you i'm done with you i'm done with you fuck you